So it's the 11th of December. It is nearing Christmas time, and for me, that means rereading. Christmas time seems to be the only time that I allow myself to reread stuff. I don't really know why. I always have the urge to reread stuff throughout the rest of the year. I just. I'm not allowing myself. I think I got into the habit because I used to ask for books for Christmas and then I would have no books to read just before Christmas. I think throughout the rest of the year, I don't really allow myself to reread stuff because I always have new books to read that I haven't read yet. Reading books shouldn't be about efficiency of how many you can read in a year. Because even when I'm not rereading books, I'm not necessarily reading the books that I haven't read yet. I might have bought more books, or I might not be reading anything. I think there's a kind of guilt that comes with it. It's ridiculous, because I buy books so I can reread them whenever I want. I want to allow myself to reread. I want to, because why not? Because it's not like I'm in some kind of challenge. I had to disable my Goodreads challenge that I had going, you know, the how many books you've read this year, because I wanted to read 65, which was ambitious considering I had GCSEs and <laughs> and then started A-levels, so it wasn't exactly like I had the most time to just read throughout the year, so <laughs> that was stupid, and it was stressing me, so I just disabled it, and I was like, you know what, no, I'm not gonna have some kind of challenge. Reading should be something that you find pleasurable, that's happy and not stressful. If it's stressful, no, then what's the point? I read to not be stressed, <laughs> so I have to keep disabling and just turning off stuff that is stressing me. Hence, why I want to reread. Because rereading books is great. Because first of all, you've already read it. You don't have to pay that much attention. Second of all, you get more out of it because you notice all these things you didn't notice the first time around when you were just going through it at full speed and it was terrible. Because that's what I do, always. <laughs> why am I not allowing myself to do this thing that I really, really want to do? I just want to reread books. Why am I not letting myself do this? So I have decided that next year, and this Christmas in particular, they're gonna be the time of rereading. Tis the season of rereading, and also next year. In addition to reading most of the books I have but have not read yet, I will be rereading The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. Because this is so good, but it's quite complicated, and I want to reread it before I read the next one, which is The Mime Order, because I tried and I kind of forgot lots of bits of information from this one, so I'm gonna reread it, because <laughs> it's really, really good. Next, we have a classic contemporary fave. Such a good book. When I first read this, I read it three times on that holiday, because it was so good. It was so good. It's about a girl who writes letters to a man on death row about something she's guilty about, feeling guilty about. Really, really, really interesting. This one too. This one is like, lots of people know this one. This one I read and it was so good. I also read it really, really quickly, so. I want to reread the whole series now that it's complete because it was so good. And lastly, this one. This is like a stand-in for the whole series as well. I want to read the whole series. And I got it at Christmas time, and it just makes me feel a little bit like Christmas holiday. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I don't really know. We'll see. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.